guys are from Theme Park Hunting here. Welcome to day, I think we've reached day 14, two weeks in on our big Europe trip. And we are at Liseberg here in Gothenburg, Sweden. So we crossed the whole country. We're now Liseberg. We got, uh, I'm so excited for so many rides today, and including Helix, Balder, Liseberg Bonin. Uh, we got a brand new coaster called Luna. Uh, Valkyria right back here. Just a lot of amazing rides to do here today. And we're gonna get special access on each of them. So it's gonna be a great day. So let's start going around the park and see what we're gonna do. All right, it is time. It is time to ride Helix. I'm super excited for this. This is gonna be really good. Absolutely surreal. As we get in line for what probably will be my favorite mock multi-launch. I remember when this thing opened watching vlogs from everyone for this park. It was such a big deal. And now we are here at Liseberg to ride it. Oh, look at this queue. It just wraps around itself everywhere. It's giving me incredible Hulk vibes, except they actually let us bring our phones in the queue. got a ride there on Helix. That was hands down one of the biggest surprises and I had high expectations for this ride. High. And that blew them all away. And that was without a doubt one of the greatest roller coasters I've ever ridden. The launches may not be where the ride's at but the airtime is so good. The inversions are so fun. The transitions are so snappy. And it's long, it's great, it moves the terrain so well. It's it's mind-blowing how this thing exists. It just how there's like this whole mountain, like there's two levels of Leesburg. There's this mountaintop that has Helix, Luna, the drop tower, and most of Leesburg bonnet. And then at the bottom you have Valkyria, Balder, the kids area. It's like two different sections, and yet this whole coaster just goes through this whole mountaintop. It's insane. It, it's it looks incredible off-ride and on-ride. It's just beautiful seeing the track kind of go everywhere around you. And it's just such an incredible ride. Like I really am blown away by how good that roller coaster is. There's a lot of random like floater pops throughout the ride, which I really wasn't expecting at all. There's like one sideways turn on there, and there's one where it like just loops around itself three times. Really, really cool. It is a really unique ride. Like it's just really good fun. There's not much else to say. It's a great family ride. Absolute blast.
And uh, first off, I just want to say that whole new Luna Park area for the Parks 100th anniversary, so well done. The rides there look great with the nebulas there and everything. It just looks beautiful. And then the ride itself, easily my favorite family boomerang so far. It's great. Uh, the views you get of all of Lisaburg, like there's a part where it turns out, it literally does this little floater hill and turns back down. During that floater hill, if you look to your left, you just get a view of all of Lisaburg. It's absolutely beautiful. And the vertical spike is really good. Like there's no like true vertical spike on a Cold Family Boomerang. And that one goes all the way up. Like if you're in the front row, you're vertical. It is crazy. It's just good fun. A perfect addition to this part for the year. I feel like they were lacking that middle family coaster gap and it filled it out perfectly. That was the best thing the park could have done. So overall, a great ride. Now we're gonna head back down to the lower section of the park. Alright, just got a ride here on Valkyria, the massive BM dive coaster. Hands down the best BM dive coaster out there. The drop's great, but it's not what the drop is. There's no mid course on this entire dive coaster. So it has the element and then it just goes through some overbanks, some zero G rolls. It's a very unique layout for a dive and it's nothing like anything before. It may not be the longest ride out there, but it's really, really unique for a dive, which obviously dives are not known for that. So the fact that this one's very different. That's what's gonna make it special. And that's probably why it's my favorite dive coaster. Like, this thing really surprised me. Really, really good. Okay, we just did this dark ride called like, I don't know, Underground I think is what it is in English. And it was so elaborately themed, so just like well presented. There's just so many cool elements about it that just went above and beyond. Like this park did the theming on it so well and the ride system was really cool. There were a lot of unique touches on it that were just great. I didn't even know that existed. So if you come to Lisa Bird, definitely stop at that dark ride because that blew my mind. All right, we just rode a Stamp Bonin, this little kitty coaster here. It's great. It's, uh, those Preston Barbier ones are really smooth for no reason. All right, got it right there on Atmosphere. Just a great drop tower. Love the view from up there. Love the drop. Just good fun. There's. Not much else to say, except it's time to go ride Helix. Let's go right now. Ba -da -da, da -da.
Felix, and that was absolutely incredible. We got a front and back row ride, and man, that ride just kills, dude. That ride's so good, and it has no right to be. It's absolutely incredible how amazing that ride really is. So that's gonna do it from our day here at Lisa Bird. Truly an incredible park. Uh, shout out to the park for letting us film today. Someone walked around the park with us and walked us up the exit to every ride and gave us exclusive access to film on the rides because they're very strict here. So huge shout out to them for letting us do that. And I mean, this park is just absolutely incredible. I highly recommend it. This is my favorite park. It's so good, right? So good. I love Europe. This is hands down the best park in Sweden. Helix is hands down the best coaster in Sweden. Definitely make your way over to Liseberg when you're in Sweden, or especially the Gothenburg area. The park is great. So we'll see you guys tomorrow over at Skara Summerland for our final park in Sweden. That'll be it for this video. So we'll see you guys later. Never forget, follow the thrill.